Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of our Nordic Village Let's Build. And we are rocking without shaders today, because in today's episode, we are going to be going and doing the interior of our stave church that we've been working on. And realistically, since we're going to be pretty much indoors for the whole episode, I figured it was probably best to go without shaders so you guys can actually see. Uh, with that said, if you ever wanted to see the village without shaders, this is what it looks like, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, the shaders that we are using for this series are called Conquest of the Sun. They're made, uh, they were actually designed with this specific texture pack in mind. Um, and th they really don't change too much. They just kind of make things look a little bit nicer. But anyway, today, as I said, we're working on the Stave Church. So, let's see what we can do there. Um... I want to look at logs, um, and it may actually be better to look here. So we've got full logs, which could be good. Carved. Ooh, there are carved wood blocks. Oh, okay. There's all sorts of cool stuff. Actually, if there are carved blocks... That means we could just do something like that. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Well, we'll we'll uh we'll get to that. Uh, for now, I need to get a couple of logs that we're gonna use. What do these burnt oak logs look like? Uh, they look all right, but I think I think we're probably just gonna want to use these. So when we were initially kind of planning out the stave church. Uh, we laid out some of these brown carpets that you see. And basically what these do, these represent pillars that are going to be here. Uh, because that's the, the wooden pillars inside a stave church are extremely important. I mean, that, that's actually what they're named for. That's, what the, that's where the name stave church comes from, because these big wooden logs are also known as staves, uh, or at least were in that time period. So, these are all really, really important. Now, what we're going to do, I think I'm going to get rid of at least some of these torches. I put a bunch of them up between episodes so that you guys would be able to see, because I wasn't planning on recording without shaders. And then, even with all the torches in place, it was still a bit too dark so I was just like you know what we'll just we'll just go without so that you guys can see because obviously it's probably more important that you can actually see what's going on than uh, than it is for the world to look pretty uh, so we'll go like this and that means actually all these need to go too because I'm just gonna stack uh, and let's get rid of this and that these are all fine that one's got to go and those are all good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to select this area, and then we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we'll go stack 9. And we'll basically bring those all the way up to this level. So we'll have these big wooden pillars kind of hanging out up here. Uh, then we'll bring these smaller pillars up as well. That is totally not the right log. Derp. Let's just get that out of our inventory so we don't do that again. There we go. So we'll bring these all the way up until they hit something. And same kind of a deal here. Uh, can that be broken? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of can. How's that? Does that really mess anything up from the outside? No, you really can't even tell. I don't even know where that was. Oh. Yeah, it was right here. You really can't even tell. I'll just leave it alone, I think. Well, hmm. Now that I see it, it's going to bother me. Let's do that. Yeah, then it's actually covered up. So we'll just do this. And we'll do that on both sides. Because it's going to be the same on both sides. So, there we go. Alright, now we need to fix up the rest of these two. 
So let me get these pillars brought up to where they need to be, and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back. So all the pillars are brought up and looking good. Oh, I spoke too soon. I missed one. Sorry about that. Now, all the pillars are brought up and looking good. There we go. And I think right here, I'm going to put a log in like that. And... Maybe up here. What's back here? Can I tear that out? Um, we could do something like this, maybe. Or like that. That's kind of cool. And that actually looks pretty cool from the outside, too. I was checking that out earlier. You can see you got this little carving here. I think that looks fantastic and beautiful. Uh, so, I think we'll leave that like so. And we, we want to kind of make use of those carvings and symbols in here because that's also kind of a very um, defined feature of stave churches as well. So, we want to make sure we're using... Uh, a lot of these logs, and we want to make sure we're using a lot of uh, the kind of symbol, the symbols as well. Uh, so I think I'm going to bring another pillar up right here. Another big old log like that. And we'll do one here too. There we go. Because we want to make sure that this log looks like it's being supported by something. And then I'll bring some logs maybe like that. And here. Yeah, that seems good. We've got this really kind of high arch ceiling. Uh, and that's something we're also probably going to be making use of here as we go. Now, right here, I think we'll say this is our doorway. And maybe around the doorway, we'll do some carvings like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's very nice. Okay. Now this we're gonna have to do something with. We'll get to that, I think. Let's kinda figure out our door frames here. I think, let's see, if this is one doorway, we'll probably do another doorway here, and that kinda leads into this main area. And then actually, we're gonna have a balcony up here. So, Maybe what we could do is something like this, where you go up like that. I mean, that'd be very tight. I'd, I'd really prefer... Hmm, how could we do that? Because I'd, I'd really like it better if you were walking up to a full block. But this doesn't look nearly as good. And that gets us up about to the level that we would need. So, we may have to compromise a little bit and go like that. Which isn't perfect because you get this kind of little bit here. Oh, that's not what I want. I want you. There we go. But it's not horrible. And it would work. It would work quite well, in fact. So why don't we bring another log up there? We'll maybe put spruce in like this. And then we'll cover it up with some carvings again. And those carvings can come maybe even all the way up. Possibly. I don't know that they necessarily need to go that high. How high does this... If 
I put that there? Can I still get up? No. Okay. So, I think we'll leave this up like that. So here's our little stairway that leads up to the balcony. Okay. So that's good. And then on this side, I think I'm going to put a log here. And we'll just kind of break this up. Because I do want to still divide this into rooms a little bit. And we'll maybe put some logs. Hmm. I'll have to figure out what I want to do here. I might just extend the spruce. Possibly. That really wouldn't hurt anything. If we did that. That might be an option. And it wouldn't look super bad either. We just kind of extend the spruce like that. Yeah, I think that works. That, that works relatively nicely. Okay, so this is our floor level. So, because we know that this is our floor level, we can maybe put in some spruce here. And we're going to have just a little bit of like a walkway balcony type thing that will come along this side, right? And probably come out to about here. Because that was also something that was very, uh, very typical of this style. Now here, I think we're going to bring another line of logs across, or maybe we'll do it here. I do want to have a lot of these kind of carvings. Let's maybe grab... Let's see what other carvings we have. I'm not going to need dark oak. Let's maybe grab carved spruce and just work some of that in. Because that's really nice, too. That actually... Ooh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Okay. And then up here... I think we make this our balcony edge, if you will, like that. So you can kind of get up to the balcony right here, and you can kind of see, but not too much, and I think that's good. Uh, let's bring these logs across like that, just so that whole top part up there is framed out. And then we should probably put a couple torches up here. Maybe, let's see, if this is our stairwell, maybe we put one there and there. And that should be even, and it should keep this whole thing lit up as well. And then we'll put maybe a log right here. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Okay. So, we've got this side basically figured out, and I think I'm going to go ahead and mirror this on this side over here so that you can, you know, get up there uh, from this side too. So, let me get on that, and I'll be back with you in a sec. Alright guys, I am back, and I think this side is good as far as our, uh, um, as far as our balcony area type thing goes. So, the next thing I'm gonna do... Ooh, that can't be messed with. Uh, let's maybe put some carved spruce in here. We'll just leave that kind of the way it is. Yeah, that still looks good. I think that's still pretty solid. Um, this could be changed, but uh, tell me that's just planks. I think it is. Okay. Whew. That could have been bad. We could do something like this, but I think that's a little too much. So, we'll put our logs there as well. And I think that'll be fine. And then maybe here... Uh, yeah. Here we'll 
bring those logs across to. So it'll look kind of like that from this entrance, and I think that's good. I do want to look at it from here. And this entrance is similar, but not exactly the same. Oh, come on now. There we go. How's that? I think here we're going to put those in. Yeah, that seems good. So let's make that match over here. Basically, all we did was take out these top two and do that. That's good as well. We've got our balcony access, and then this is going to be our altar. We need to figure out what we're going to do here for a door. And a door frame. And we could very easily just do something like this. That might work. Otherwise, as far as doors go, we do have trapdoor options. Um, dark oak door. That would be... This would be like the perfect door for a stave church. Unfortunately, I don't think it works. Yeah, really doesn't work for 3x3. Three three. Un... It, or, uh... Yeah, or... Really meant for a 2x2, two two, which is too bad, uh, because that would have been perfect. That would have been absolutely perfect. Uh, we'll get rid of that one. This is the one that would actually go outside. So we'll go like that. And I'm just going to put a spruce door in right there. It's nice and simple. Put another one right there. And then another one right here in the back. So our doors are all in place. Looking good. And now we need to figure out some of the other things that will go here. There's a ton of space up here that we need to do stuff with. And a lot of other stuff as well. So I think one thing we should probably look at doing would be some sort of, like, uh, pillar type deal, if this makes any sense whatsoever. Let's bring those up to, like, here, and then up like that, like, big structural supports, essentially, except those are going to have lattices, I think. Is that what they're called? Braces? I don't know. I know what I'm talking, I, I know what I'm envisioning, I just can't remember the actual term for them, which is too bad, but uh, some sort of like arching structural element, because this has a very high-pitched ceiling right now, which is, which is good ultimately, I mean, we do want a high-pitched ceiling. Um, let's also look at chairs real quick, we'll just go very simple seating, maybe we just put down some benches like this, and we'll go, let's see. I think our pulpit's going to go there. So we'll just go like a couple of chairs like this. There wasn't really a ton of seating in these places. I mean, they were relatively small. There was only room for a handful of people. In fact, a lot of stave churches had uh, essentially sitting room or standing room only. So it wouldn't be uncommon. I really did that, didn't I? Wow. I am so good at this game. It wouldn't be uncommon to have benches or something uh, or no benches even. It wouldn't be uncommon to have just, you know, basically people would just stand around. I mean... These were generally for relatively small communities because they didn't have the wonders of modern transportation and stuff that we do now. You couldn't just, you know, go 20 miles to church. It didn't work like that, uh, at least not easily. So some of these things, as a result, you know, a church might only service people in a very small area. Who knew? Who knows? 
Uh, I think that's good. And we'll put... Mm, I don't like those. Um... Oh, that's... I want blocks. There we go. Blanks. That's what I need. Let's just fill those in as well. And I think... That's good, right? Yeah, that should be good for the time being. So we'll have maybe some... Did I really do that again? I really did. Wow. What is wrong with me? Let's maybe just do some stuff like that. This will be... These will be the little areas where they'll sit, or at least sit as best they can. And it's nice and... It should be nice and crowded. I want it to feel that way. That's good. Uh, here, I'm going to put in another door. And I think we're going to put these guys in there. These carved spruce pillars. Just every other one like that. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, he, oop. Hey, you. Go back. Um, the other thing we could maybe do is grab oak stairs and put those here instead of the planks. Just because I think that'll look better. That'll give us a little bit more of an art shape, which is always good. that noise could you guys hear that I have no idea what that was either way I guess the stave church is haunted or something I'm not really sure it's it's all good it's okay um, yeah so altar I'm thinking that this table right here makes a pretty good altar and I think I think I want to scoot it out a little bit more like that. And then we'll have... Let's grab these torches. There we go. We'll have... A couple of torches here. Or better yet... Let's grab... Uh... Candles? Are there, are there not... Candle. Yeah. Oh, it's a redstone torch. The candles are redstone torches. Oh. Gotcha. Okay. That totally makes sense. Um. And I don't remember. Is it... What's the... Candle holder thing? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I'll figure it out. It's not a big deal. Uh, over here, I think I'm going to put some scrolls. You know, just for reading and stuff like that. I think that's something that would be sensible. Maybe on the other side we'll do the same, but with bookshelves. Uh, let's see. Shelf. So... Like this... Um, yeah, we'll just put in some bookshelves like that. In fact, what we should probably do is mix in. Now, that looks pretty bad, actually. I think we'll go back to the way it was. So we'll have books on this side, shelves on this side, and I think that will be just fine. And then I was hoping... Do we have some way to make, like, a little cross? Hmm. Ooh, end rods. What do end rods look like? This... might work? I don't... Nah, they don't really connect, though. That's too bad. But they do kind of look like candles. So maybe we'll put a couple of those down. Just because they give off more light than a, uh, than a regular torch. 
And this is our altar. And then let's just see, do we have anything that's gold that we can use? We've got a goblet that can go maybe right in the middle, like the communion cup or whatever. Not really anything there. Um, and I hate to use a fence. We might have to, though. Let's see, what does this look like? This was a birch log fence? Yeah, that's not... That's not great. That's not terrible, though. That could be way worse. Maybe we go carved. Let's look at carved stuff. So we've got carved birch pillars, carved acacia. There's a lot of different carved types. Let's see what the birch looks like. That's very kind of... Ooh, actually that's pretty good. That's pretty fitting for like a Viking... For a Nordic... Yeah, maybe we do go with that. Just because it's all carved and nice, what's the acacia look like? That's very like tribal. Uh, so that's, that one's out. And then there's this one, which also is very Nordic, very, more, more Celtic than anything else, but still would be very fitting. Um, hmm. I think, honestly, I think I like the birch fence best. I think it just looks a little bit better. So let's do that. It's just a little thinner. It just seems to work a little better. So we'll do that, and that'll be kind of our altar, which I think is good. Yeah, this is not bad. Okay, unfortunately though, guys, we've got most of our structural elements in place, but I am out of time for this episode. So I think we will finish this bad boy up in the next one. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.